All right, good morning everybody and uh, all you guys new here, welcome. If you feel like hitting that like button, do it right now. If you like big bluegills or any panfish for that matter, hit the like button, subscribe. I do this a lot when I get a chance to. Um, for those of you guys that aren't new here, I am actually back on a body of water, which I normally don't do because I don't usually fish the same thing, but I found some giant gills. So I don't know when you're gonna see the other video, um, but this is the same body of water. It's super shallow. Uh, it's currently snowing right now. Um, and for some reason, these giant bluegills are in the super shallow water. So I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna try and catch some. I might even keep some stuff today. Um, eight, eight and a half, nine inches. That's usually what I keep. Anything above nine inches goes back. Those of you guys who have been around forever know big bluegills go back, right? Comment below. <laughs> okay, let's go slay some fish. Okay, since I kind of already know what these guys like out here, I don't have to do much. We'll see if there's any big crappie around this morning. Last time I was here, I got one and that was it. But if I can get a couple of them, it'd be nice. I wouldn't mind a crappie fry. Yeah, seeing fish. Seeing lots of fish. Now I just gotta figure out which one of my plastics they want to bite. <laughs> my big bluegill addiction. Let's see what they want for plastics out of here. Maybe try one of these bigger, uh, try to remember which, these are the BY baits. Um, I think they're the Mega Mud Bug. Pretty decent size plastic for midwinter bluegills. See if that's what they want. I mean, I got tons of options to check through, so hopefully we can find one. Okay, tried a couple different plastics now. I'm gonna switch it up to a simple double tail hooked wax worm. Left hand dead sticking. <laughs> it's a little male. <clears throat> Not quite the right setup to go and come home with me, so let that first one go. Okay, so I know you guys didn't see that, so I have this aimed at that hole. Because there's fish coming in here, and there's fish coming in over here. I switched to uh, a little wax worm on there. And uh, apparently they don't want it moved at all. So what I was doing is I was watching this. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like this, watching the tip every once in a while. And one came up from the bottom and just pulled it down. I wasn't even paying attention to it, I just looked over and my rod had a little bend in it. <laughs> so apparently these guys are just really finicky today, which is kind of crazy because there's a big snowstorm. Usually during snowstorms you get really crazy bites. I mean it might be that I'm just not on the right bite window right now. But yeah, I keep going back and forth between the two holes because once in a while something will come in here there's like a little hump or something and they're just sitting on the edges of it but that's the first fish in a while so right now there's like three of them over there I'm just gonna see if this hole just popping at once and then let it still thing works Yep. <laughs> this is a nice female. Apparently it's going to be a dead sticking kind of day. Well, that's one. Hopefully I can get a couple more of these guys. Upside is, is about eight and a half inches, nice and thick. 
And it's a female, so if I can get some more females, it would be good. Nice gill dinner. Okay, got a pile of gills down there. I'm gonna put my gloves on because my hands are freezing, but it would appear they're sitting in this little pocket over here. I think this is my favorite part about using a live scope. It's not just finding and catching the fish, it's the fact that I can have I can have it down a hole <laughs> over there and not have my unit in the same hole that I'm fishing in. Another one. Well, this one feels big. <laughs> Pleasure to fish. That is not your average female bluegill. <laughs> see, so I showed people this before, but I have a quick measuring thing on my my bull whip. That's ten inches. <laughs> That's a ten-inch bluegill. I don't care if she's a female or not. If they're ten inches, I just put them back. Not very hard to do. A lot of people would eat that thing, but I don't need to because I know there's other fish down there. I want to put my gloves on because my hand's so cold, but I uh, also want to keep catching these fish because there's like 10, 20 of them down there. You guys can even see that because of the way the water drops are on the screen. Like it's hard for me to tell. <laughs> but I know they're down there because of the way the bottom looks. They're hugging the bottom still. That was a pretty vicious bite. <laughs> Because it's a little male, a little aggressive bugger. <laughs> Threw him in that hole. Well, <laughs> I've been screwing around with this school of fish down here for like 25, 30 minutes, so I just shut my camera off. I'd have thought they might have been carp or something. But, uh,. Definitely not carp. That is a big bull bluegill. So, kind of makes me wonder what's going on down there. I don't know if they're feeding. They got a bunch of bugs already. But yeah, that's uh, it's like a nine, nine and a half inch bull bluegill. I don't keep those guys. So yeah, like I was saying, I got a, <laughs> I got a school of fish below me for like 20 minutes now, and every once in a while one would come up and look at my bait but it was like it's like they just weren't the fish that I needed to look at my bait <laughs> basically so I'm gonna guess this is a big school of bluegills but they're feeding maybe if they're already feeding on a certain bug then they're probably not gonna want anything to do with me usually try to keep the camera rolling this time but it was really getting irritating because like like now I have one sitting there staring at it. But he's just gonna sit there and stare at it. Drive me nuts. Yep, and then he's gonna go away. So I don't know what I did different there to get that that big bluegill to bite, but hopefully I can figure it out here. <laughs> Okay, 
we had to play around with that one for a little while. And go down there, apparently there's more of them. And it seems like, seems like if there's a little bit of competition that I can get them to bite. That's plastic. It would seem the trick today is to kind of go down in the group of gills, see if I can get one to come out of it. Basically just kind of repeat that process over and over. <laughs> like I said before, I was doing this for 20 minutes before, 20, 30 minutes before one of those guys decided to come up and eat. Um, right now I still have that plastic on. But if I have to, I'll switch back to live bait to get my extra gills. I just want those uh, one or two more and probably go home after that. Okay, little midday update. Um, right now I have three. Okay, my hands are moving a little slow. I have three bluegills, uh, three females between eight and like nine inches that I'm going to keep. Um, I'm going to try to get one to two more because I would like to do some baked gills. Um, if you guys want to see some cooking stuff, go over and check out my DWS uh, Cooks Everything channel. If you guys are new here, subscribe to this channel first, then go over there and subscribe. Um, I'll actually have it right here, DWS Cooks Everything. Um, but yeah, I have everything linked in the description if you guys just want to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do some baked gills, I think. So I'm going to get some unique stuff to put together and make some yummy gills. I haven't done this in a long time. I don't almost ever keep gills but good day so far i think we released two tens one or two tens and then uh one pretty big bold bluegill that surprised me <laughs> it's always always a good surprise but i'm gonna go try and catch some more so let's go get them another monster female She might be too big. Oh. I guess that's just a nine. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to just discredit you. Thank you for the food. <laughs> okay, I'll take one more. The nice part about keeping big female bluegills is five, eight and a half to nine inches feed an army. I'm excited for some uh, for some good fresh baked bluegill. Well, go figure. My camera died, ran out of freaking memory. I got this big 10 inch bull. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing back. <laughs> okay, I think that's gonna call it. Oh, big old tenancher. Kind of surprised me too, because I was just was looking for one more meal fish, and uh, yeah, that one's gonna go back. But hit the like button for jumbo freaking bluegills. Oh god, <sighs> these are good days. These are the good days. So hit the like button if you're new here. Do everyone a favor and yourself a favor. <laughs> Subscribe. I'll <laughs> see you guys next time.